Question 15. Peanuts cost 60p for 100 grams. What is the cost of 350 grams of peanuts? Well, we need a good, clear way of setting this out. So the first 100 grams is going to cost us 60p. The next 100 grams is going to cost us 60p. And all I'm doing is I'm counting up until I've got 350 grams. Well, that's 200 so far. Another 100 grams is another 60p, so that's 300. And we will need another 50 grams. Well, 50 grams is half of 100 grams, so it's half the weight. And if it's half the weight, it's going to be half the cost. So half the cost of 60p is 30p. So there we've got our cost. Now, this makes a total weight of 350 grams, which is what we're trying to get. So all we need to do now is find the total cost by adding them up. So what we've got is we've got 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 6 again is 18, 18 plus 3 is 21. Put your 1 in, carry your 2, but because we've run out of columns, we can put the 2 straight in. So it's 210 pence. Now, noticeably, the answer box does not have any units, it's just an empty space. So at this point, we can choose our units, so we can put 210 pence, or we could put £2.10. Either of those would be the same thing but if you're going to put two pounds ten you've got to make sure you put your decimal point in otherwise you put in 210 pounds and it definitely doesn't cost that so be very very careful with your units scrolling down for the next part of the question it says that raisins cost 80p for 100 grams jack pays two pounds for a bag of raisins how many grams of raisins does he get well, what we need to do is we need to see how many lots of 80p go into two pounds. So how many 80p's in two pounds? Well, if we start with 80p, that will go in. Another 80p would make one pound 60. And then to get it up to two pounds, we've got from one pound 60, we're going to have to have another 40p. So let's work out what we can get for these prices. So for 80p, we can get 100 grams. For another 80p, we can get another 100 grams. And for 40p, this is only half as much money, so we can only get half as many grams. So half as many grams as 100 grams would be 50 grams. So 80p, 80p and 40p makes the two pounds. So now we just need to add up our weight so 100 plus 100 plus 50 well that's 200 plus an extra 50 250 grams so your final answer is 250 grams